If pulled over by the police, we recommend that you always have your driver's license handy, your registration, keep both hands on the wheel, and uh, look straight ahead. The most important thing anytime you're confronted with a police officer is not to assist them too much in their investigation. Everybody's required, required to give their identification. Nobody's required to testify against themselves. So a lot depends on what the circumstances are, why are you being pulled over, and, and what is being alleged against the individual. They're going to ask for identification, and they're probably going to ask for the registration on the vehicle, or, or all their usual uh, forms of ID that they're entitled to. You can't deny them, and you should not deny them, because then you're facing additional charges. You should hand over, be respectful, obey the police every single time. If you disobey the police of a lawful order, that's a separate offense and they can arrest you for that, even though you haven't done anything wrong. So it's always good to at least cooperate. And like I said, you don't have to give them any investigative tools about crimes that they may be accusing you of, but you have to give them your information. If you get pulled over by the police, the first thing you should do, obviously, is stop. A lot of people don't take that first step. Definitely stop. Beyond that, pull over, put your hands on the steering wheel, listen for their instructions. They will tell you what to do. The safest thing for you to do is take those instructions and listen to them. Because when they get out of the car, you'll notice their hands on their hip, it's near their gun. If you're not listening to those instructions, that could become a very dangerous situation for you. So first and foremost, stop listening to instructions. Then as they walk up to the car, they're going to ask you for your ID and your registration. Wait until they ask you for that, then ask if you can reach for it, get it out of your wallet, get it out of the glove box, wherever it may be, and hand it to them. After that, they're going to go back, they're going to likely run your registration and your ID. If you have any outstanding warrants, which you may know about if you fail to attend court or something along those lines, they're going to come back and have questions for you. They may, depending on the warrant, if it was a felony, take you into custody. However, if it's a more minor thing, they'll simply tell you to go to court. Then, if it's for a DUI, or they suspect drugs, such as they believe they can smell marijuana, which sometimes they say even if they can't really, then they may ask you to get out of the car. In which case, of course, follow the instructions, get out of the car. Then, they'll instruct you further from there. If it's a DUI, they will probably want to do what's called a field sobriety test. That's when they ask you to do the things like touch your hand, your nose, count backwards from 100, and turn on your heel. They'll instruct you and demonstrate how to do that. If a police officer asks you to step out of the vehicle, then you should comply with that request. Uh, even though you feel that there may not be a need for you to step out of the vehicle, that's not the time and place to resolve those issues. That's what the courts are for. So it's always best policy to just follow the police officer's instructions. If the police officer, after stopping you, asks you to get out of your car, do so slowly. Undo your seatbelt, which hopefully you've been wearing, and open the car door. Slowly get out. Do not make any sudden movements. Again, the police officer may, if you make sudden movements, believe that you are reaching for a weapon of some kind. Simply slowly get out of the car, have your hands where they can see them, and step to the side of the vehicle and then continue to follow their instructions. They may tell you to turn around and face the car, they may ask you to step away, whatever it is they need you to do, they will instruct you.